The chapter has closed, man. The Kirk Cousins chapter has come to an end. And I couldn't be more excited for this franchise, bruh. We've been waiting and pushing so long. Shout out the Purple Gang. That's been going hard night in, night out for this to happen. All right, this needed to happen for this franchise. Kirk Cousins, man, his, hey, listen, when I seen his agent post a tweet saying, I'm happy for Kirk Cousins signing a four-year deal with the Atlanta Falcons, I was like, there actually is football gods that exist. You hear me? Like, for sure, man. I'm so glad this dude done moved on. Listen, he's going to be a good fit for the Atlanta Falcons. So they say, <laughs> listen, I'm going to tell you right now, we've tried enough. The Vikings have extended not only the checkbook, but have extended talent around Kirk Cousins. And guess what? We can't get past the wild card game. So I don't give a damn. Like for all the people saying Kirk Cousins always puts up numbers and he's sustainable at the quarterback position, bro. It got us nothing in six years. Doesn't matter. It's time to move on, bro. Sometimes it's time to just cut the ties. You hear me? And today is the day. This is a big day in Vikings history because you know what? I know that that's the reason why we brought Quasey and Kevin O'Connell into this building. And that was to show us and we're going to hold them accountable as Vikings fans and show us that you can go find your guy, locate your guy and turn him into a Super Bowl champion, whether that takes two years, whether that takes three years. But I'd rather do that than to sink three more years into a Kirk Cousins. You feel me? I'd rather sink three more years into you developing a guy that you drafted, that you handpicked and taught your playbook. So let's get it, man. The time is now. I'm going to tell you right now. I got a good feeling, man. I got a good feeling. Guess what? JD5 going to wind up being the quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings or JJ McCarthy, one of them guys. I mean, I know there's talks about them liking Drake May too, but I'm going to tell you at this moment, I don't care. I'm excited for the franchise to pick whoever you want to pick and get him in the building and teach him the ropes and get him started. You feel me? Because we needed this. No, the Falcons fans, they hate this, bro. They are not happy that... The, that they signed Kirk Cousins, you know, because they understand and they look at it and know that the stats are there, but the wins aren't, you know, and that's just what it is. And nobody's excited about it. So I can't wait to see how Kirk Cousins performs down in Atlanta because people think that he's playing in a weak division and he's going to just win it. I, I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. I think it's going to be Vikings fans sitting back with their feet kicked up, hand behind their head, looking at Kirk and saying, damn, that's the Kirk we knew, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to be on the path of moving forward, and it's going to feel so damn good. Hey, Kirk stands. I feel bad for you, but we told y'all this. This is just a prime example. Kirk is about the bag. You hear me? All that talk about he want to retire a Minnesota Viking. He loves Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson loves Kirk Cousins. Stop it. That's why you can't put no weight into those press conferences. Them shits mean nothing. They mean nothing. They just get up there and say what's supposed to be said. They tell they love her boys, man. They tell you what you want to hear. You know, when you talk to a girl, and you just tell her what you what you wanted to hear or you tell her what you wanted to know. That's exactly what they do to us as fans, man. Don't fall into the hype. This is a big day for the Minnesota Vikings. Kirk Cousins is now ATL. 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 Let's get a Ric Flair before we get up out of here, man. Give me two claps and a Ric Flair. Let's go. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer, who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage. 